Hidden Knowledge, The Secrets to Mentally Transform Your Life Effortlessly Written by Kelvin W. Nathan Published by Audiobooks Office Introduction The Hidden Knowledge This book is designed to be your guide to uncovering powerful, often overlooked insights that can dramatically change your life. By revealing these secrets, you will learn how to harness the incredible potential of your mind to achieve effortless transformation and lasting fulfillment. Whether you are looking to improve your personal relationships, enhance your career, or find inner peace, this book will provide the tools and knowledge you need. The journey to transforming your life begins with understanding the power of your mind. Our thoughts, beliefs, and attitudes shape our reality influencing our actions and the outcomes we experience. This book will introduce you to the hidden knowledge that taps into the vast capabilities of your subconscious mind. By learning these mental secrets, you may match your thoughts and behaviors with your deepest aspirations, resulting in a life that flows naturally toward your goals. One of the core principles of hidden knowledge is the idea that our mind is both a powerful ally and a significant obstacle. Many of us are held back by limiting beliefs, negative thought patterns, and subconscious programming that we are not even aware of. This book will help you identify these mental blocks and provide practical strategies to overcome them. By reprogramming your mind, you will unlock a new level of potential and create a path to effortless success. This transformation is not about working harder, it's about thinking smarter. You will learn techniques such as visualization, affirmations, and mindfulness that can rewire your brain for success. Scientific research has supported these techniques and shown that they improve mental clarity, confidence, and general well-being. You will begin to experience both subtle and noticeable improvements in your life once you make these habits a regular part of your routine. The power of hidden knowledge lies in its simplicity and accessibility. You don't need to be a guru or spend years in training to benefit from these secrets. This book simplifies complicated topics, making it accessible to everyone ready to broaden their horizons and embrace new ways of thinking. Whether you are a seasoned self-help enthusiast or new to the world of personal development, you will find valuable insights that resonate with you. In addition to practical strategies, this book will include inspiring anecdotes about people who have revolutionized their lives via the power of hidden information. These real-life examples will illustrate how ordinary people have achieved extraordinary results by applying these mental secrets. Their journeys will motivate you to believe in your potential and take action toward your own transformation. As you read Hidden Knowledge, you will embark on a journey of self-discovery and empowerment. Open your mind to the possibilities that lie ahead and allow these secrets to guide you toward a life of ease, success, and fulfillment. Welcome to a new chapter where you can transform your life effortlessly by tapping into the hidden power of your mind. Let's begin. Did you know your thoughts have the power to shape your reality? In Hidden Knowledge, you'll uncover the key to harnessing this power. You'll discover how to cultivate positive thoughts practice mindfulness, and reprogram your subconscious mind. But that's just the beginning. Imagine setting clear intentions, building supportive relationships, and living a life of true purpose. For more information about the ebook version of this audio, visit audiobooksoffice.com. We notice that 72% of you who listen to our video are not yet subscribed to the channel. Please help support the channel by hitting the subscribe button and liking the video. Thanks for inspiring us to create more content for you. Now, curious to know how these can be achieved? Stay tuned. Chapter 1 Unlocking the Power of Thought Harnessing your thoughts can access an immense power, altering your reality and broadening your understanding of the world. You might think that your thoughts hold no real weight, but they're more influential than you've ever imagined. They aren't just passive observers, they're active creators of your world. Your thoughts, whether positive or negative, shape your perspective and, therefore, your experiences. 
Each thought you have is like a pebble thrown into the waters of your mind, creating ripples that affect your emotions, actions, and ultimately your life. So, if you consistently think negative thoughts, you're likely to have a negative outlook on life. Conversely, if you cultivate positive thoughts, you'll likely experience a more positive life. But it's not just about having positive thoughts. It's about harnessing them effectively. Consider your thoughts as a raw, untamed force. To access this power, you must guide your thoughts, not suppress them. It's like steering a ship you can't stop the waves, but you can learn to navigate through them. To access the power of thought, you need to be aware of your thinking patterns. Are you often plagued by negative thoughts? Do you find it hard to think positively? Recognizing these patterns is the first step to changing them. Once you have become conscious, you can begin to reframe your thoughts, replacing negative ones with good ones. Accessing the power of thought isn't easy, but it's achievable. It is a journey that demands patience, practice, and perseverance. But the rewards are worth it. By harnessing your thoughts, you can change your reality and broaden your understanding of the world. It's a powerful tool, and it's in your hands. Use it wisely. Chapter 2. Discovering Your Inner Wisdom Just as you can tap into the power of thought, there's another powerful resource lying within you, your inner wisdom. This is the wellspring of intuition, insight, and understanding that guides you through life's complexities. However, it's often underutilized as you might be swayed by external influences or out of touch due to the noise and busyness of modern life. Your inner wisdom isn't some mystical, elusive concept. Rather, it's the accumulation of your life experiences, knowledge, and insights that you've gained over the years. It's the voice that speaks to you when you're torn between what you want and what you know is right. It's that gut feeling nudging you towards or away from a particular course of action. To access this profound resource, you need to learn to be in tune with yourself. Start by creating a quiet, contemplative space where you can listen without distractions. Reflection, introspection, and meditation are also key. They allow you to explore deeper into your consciousness, to investigate your thoughts, feelings, and motivations. In essence, discovering your inner wisdom is about self-discovery. It's recognizing the value of your experiences, understanding your emotional responses, and being attentive to your intuitive cues. When you acknowledge and trust your inner wisdom, you empower yourself to make informed decisions that align with your core values and life goals. This, in turn, aids in your journey towards mental transformation. In the next section, we'll explore the art of mindful awareness, one of the most effective ways to cultivate and harness your inner wisdom. Chapter 3 the Art of Mindful Awareness Delving into the art of mindful awareness, you'll find it's a powerful tool for tuning into your inner wisdom and traversing life with heightened clarity and understanding. It's not merely about being present, it's about being consciously engaged with each moment, keenly aware of your thoughts, emotions, and actions. This practice begins with observation the first step to gaining deeper insights. By observing your thoughts without judgment, you start to discern patterns. You'll notice how certain situations trigger specific emotional responses and how those responses affect your actions. Over time, you'll grow more attuned to these patterns, which provides the foundation for proactive change. Next, acceptance is vital. Acknowledge your feelings and thoughts without resistance. It's not about dismissing or suppressing them, but rather understanding they're transient and don't define you. This non-judgmental acceptance creates a mental environment conducive to growth and transformation. Additionally, non-attachment is essential. It's the ability to experience thoughts and emotions without clinging to or identifying with them. This is a liberating practice that allows for detachment from negative thought patterns, fostering a healthier mental state. Lastly, understanding your mind-body connection is important. Recognize how your thoughts and emotions manifest physically. 
This knowledge enables you to address mental stressors before they escalate into physical ailments. Mindful awareness isn't an overnight fix, but a lifelong journey of growth and self-discovery. As you deepen this practice, you'll experience greater tranquility, resilience, and inner harmony, becoming a more conscious architect of your life's narrative. Chapter 4. Letting Go of Limiting Beliefs Shedding the shackles of limiting beliefs can be a transformative process, opening your mind to new possibilities and empowering you to achieve your fullest potential. You mightn't realize it, but your beliefs shape your life, steering your actions, thoughts, and reactions. When these beliefs are negative or limiting, they can stifle your growth and keep you stuck in unhelpful patterns. Limiting beliefs are frequently the result of prior events, social training, or internalized fear. Understanding and acknowledging them is the first step to letting them go. You might have beliefs like I'm not good enough, I'll never be successful, or I don't deserve happiness. It's essential to recognize that these aren't truths, but merely beliefs formed from past experiences. Next, challenge your beliefs. Ask yourself if there's any factual evidence supporting them. More often than not, you'll find there isn't. It's merely a narrative you've created and reinforced over time. Lastly, substitute your limiting beliefs with empowering ones. This isn't about wishful thinking, but about creating a new narrative that supports your growth and potential. Instead of I'm not good enough, tell yourself I am capable and deserving. Chapter 5 Embracing a Growth Mindset After addressing limiting beliefs, it's crucial to embrace a growth mindset, a concept that fundamentally shifts how you approach challenges and learning. This mindset, promoted by psychologist Carol Dweck, proposes that intelligence and abilities can be acquired via hard work, perseverance, and a positive attitude toward failure. It's the idea that you're not stuck where you're, you can always improve, learn, and grow. By adopting a growth mindset, you're accepting that you're a work in progress. You realize that your potential isn't predetermined and that you have the ability to shape your own abilities and intelligence. It's about understanding that your brain is just like a muscle that grows stronger and more capable with use. You're not defined by past failures, but emboldened by them, seeing each one as an opportunity to learn and improve. But how do you cultivate this mindset? Start by reframing challenges as opportunities. Instead of saying, I can't do this, say, I can't do this yet, you're not denying the difficulty, but you're asserting your ability to eventually overcome it. Embrace the idea that effort is more important than talent. Understand that mistakes and failures aren't the end of the world, but rather valuable lessons in your journey. Chapter 6. Cultivating a Positive Self-Image while the growth mindset fuels your ability to learn and grow, cultivating a positive self-image is equally essential, as it shapes how you perceive and present yourself to the world. This isn't merely about adopting a feel-good approach, but rather about fostering a profound understanding of your worth and potential. Your self-image is a mental picture that greatly influences your behavior, decisions, and emotions. It's like a mirror reflecting your strengths, weaknesses, successes, and failures. You're the artist of this image, and how you paint it can affect your overall happiness and success. The truth is, we're often our own harshest critics. You might focus on your flaws, ignoring your virtues. This can lead to self-doubt, anxiety, and low self-esteem. However, it's essential to understand that everyone comes with their own set of strengths and weaknesses, Embrace them as part of what makes you unique. Start by recognizing your strengths. Write them down and reflect on them regularly. This way you'll start to see yourself from a more positive perspective. Next, accept your weaknesses without judgment. Instead of focusing on what you can't do, concentrate on what you can improve. Chapter 7. The Science of Neuroplasticity as you embrace your strengths and weaknesses, understanding the science of neuroplasticity can further empower your personal transformation. Neuroplasticity is your brain's ability to change and adapt, 
physically and functionally, in response to your environment, behaviors, thinking, and emotions. It's the key mechanism behind your brain's incredible capacity to reorganize itself, forming new neural connections throughout life. At its core, neuroplasticity is about adaptation. If you have ever mastered a new ability, like as playing the piano or speaking another language, you have seen neuroplasticity in action. Your brain formed new connections, adapted, and over time these tasks became easier, more fluid. That's your brain's plasticity at work, a validation of its remarkable ability to adapt and change. However, it's not just about learning new skills. Neuroplasticity is also vital in the rehabilitation process following brain injuries or strokes. It allows the brain to compensate for lost functions or maximize remaining functions in response to an injury. That said, neuroplasticity is a double-edged sword. Just as you can shape your brain to become better, you can also mold it in less beneficial ways. If you constantly focus on negative thoughts, for example, your brain can become wired to easily fall into pessimistic thinking patterns. Understanding neuroplasticity empowers you to take control over your brain's plasticity. You can consciously shape your brain to promote positive thinking, develop resilience, and foster emotional well-being. The power to change your brain, and by extension your life, is in your hands. Remember, you're not a victim of your brain, you're its architect. Chapter 8. Reprogramming Your Subconscious Delving into the domain of your subconscious, it's crucial to understand how you can reprogram it to transform your life. Your subconscious mind is like a powerful supercomputer, constantly processing information and influencing your thoughts, feelings, and actions. It's often responsible for those seemingly automatic responses and behaviors that you mightn't consciously recognize or control. To reprogram your subconscious, you need to first identify those patterns and beliefs that are holding you back. Be it a deep-seated fear of failure or a belief that you're not good enough, it's these hidden nuggets of negativity that dictate your subconscious programming. You need to be brutally honest with yourself and acknowledge these limiting beliefs. Once you've identified these, the next step is to replace them with positive affirmations. These are powerful statements that enforce positive beliefs and attitudes. They work by constantly feeding your subconscious with uplifting thoughts until they become ingrained as your default state of mind. For instance, replace the belief, I'm not good enough with I am capable and deserving of success. Visualization is another potent tool in your reprogramming arsenal. This involves envisioning yourself in a state of success, happiness, and fulfillment. As you continually imagine this in your mind, your subconscious will start to accept it as reality, thereby changing your thought patterns and behaviors. Chapter 9. Mastering the Art of Focus In the quest for hidden knowledge, mastering the art of focus is an essential skill you can't afford to overlook. It's more than just a mental discipline, it's a transformative tool that can reshape your reality. To begin, understand that focus isn't merely about concentration. It's about harnessing your mental energy and directing it towards a specific goal or task. Distractions are the enemy of focus. They scatter your mental resources, leaving you unable to fully engage with the task at hand. So how do you enhance your focus? To start with, identify what distracts you. Is it noise, stress? or perhaps digital distractions like email and social media. Recognizing these helps you strategize ways to minimize their impact. Next, practice mindfulness. This tool helps you stay present and attentive to your current task, reducing the power of distractions. It trains your brain to concentrate on one thing at a time, thereby boosting your ability to focus. Additionally, take regular breaks. It might sound counterintuitive, but studies show that short breaks can actually boost productivity and focus. They provide your mind a chance to rest and recharge, making it more efficient when you return to your task. Finally, maintain a healthy lifestyle. Regular cardiovascular activity, a well-balanced diet, 
and adequate sleep all help to sharpen the intellect and attention. Always keep in mind that your brain is an organ that requires adequate care to function properly. Mastering the art of focus isn't an overnight process. It requires patience, practice, and self-awareness. But once achieved, it's a powerful tool that can greatly enhance your pursuit of hidden knowledge. Chapter 10. Building Unshakable Confidence Having honed your ability to focus, it's time to bolster another foundation stone in your quest for hidden knowledge building unshakable confidence. This isn't about puffing your chest out and acting cocky. Real, unshakable confidence is a deep sense of self-assuredness that remains even when things aren't going your way. It starts with self-awareness. Understanding your strengths, as well as your weaknesses, can give you a realistic assessment of your abilities. Don't shy away from your shortcomings instead, use them as a roadmap for improvement. This creates a resilient form of confidence built on authenticity, not just bravado. Next, you need to practice self-love and acceptance. Criticism, both internal and external, can wreck your confidence. It's necessary to separate who you're from what you do or have done. Remember, mistakes and failures don't define you. Stepping outside of your comfort zone is also part of the confidence-building process. This might be scary, but it's the only way to grow. When you face challenges head-on, you prove to yourself that you can handle adversity. Each victory, no matter how small, boosts your confidence. Lastly, surround yourself with positive influences. Negativity from others can chip away at your confidence. Instead, seek out people who inspire you, who believe in you, and who push you to be better. Developing unshakable confidence is a journey, not a destination. It's about continuously learning, evolving, and improving. And the more you believe in yourself, the easier it becomes to unearth the hidden knowledge you seek. Chapter 11 The Power of Visualization As you solidify your confidence, it's crucial to harness the power of visualization, a potent tool that can transform your quest for hidden knowledge. Visualization isn't just about daydreaming or wishful thinking. It involves creating mental images so vivid and realistic that they trick your brain into believing that your desired outcome has already come to fruition. Imagine sitting in front of a blank canvas. With each thought, you paint a more detailed picture. The more detailed the image, the more powerful the impact. That's visualization in a nutshell. It's a mental rehearsal, a conditioning of the mind. It's like running a race in your head before you physically step on the track. Visualization is more than just seeing an image in your mind. Incorporate all your senses. Hear the sounds, smell the scents, feel the textures, and taste the flavors. This multisensory approach heightens the experience, making it more real and tangible. Why does this matter? Visualization shapes your mindset and alters your behavior. It's a self-fulfilling prophecy. When you consistently visualize success, you begin to act in ways that align with this vision. You become more motivated, more focused, and more resilient. You're not just hoping for success, you're living it, breathing it, embodying it, embodying it. Chapter 12. Overcoming Fear and Doubt While on your journey to uncover hidden knowledge, you'll inevitably face the twin threats of fear and doubt. They're part of the human condition and can often serve as roadblocks to your progress. Overcoming these mental barriers demands a certain level of self-awareness and strategic thinking. First, recognize that fear and doubt are natural responses to uncertainty. They're your mind's way of protecting you from potential harm or failure. However, unchecked, they can stifle your growth and keep you stuck in your comfort zone. Understanding their origin and purpose can help you manage them more effectively. Next, keep in mind that fear and doubt often stem from a lack of knowledge or experience. Therefore, Educating yourself about the unknown can greatly reduce these feelings. Explore research, broaden your horizons, and seek expert advice when necessary. Remember, knowledge dispels fear. Furthermore, 
nurture a mindset of resilience and self-belief. You can do this by focusing on past successes and learning experiences, positive affirmations, and maintaining a supportive network. These tactics will help you gain confidence in your talents while ensuring that fear and doubt do not overshadow your potential. Lastly, practice courage by taking calculated risks. Courage isn't about being fearless, it's about pushing forward despite your fears. By continuously stepping outside your comfort zone, you'll get more comfortable with uncertainty and reduce the power of fear and doubt. Chapter 13. Embracing Imperfection and Failure In your pursuit of hidden knowledge, it's crucial to embrace imperfection and failure, viewing them not as setbacks, but as integral parts of your learning journey. Recognize that perfection is a myth, and that failure isn't a terminal point, but a stepping stone to growth and self-improvement. The process of mentally transforming your life demands that you not only accept, but also cherish your flaws and failures. Imperfection, you see, is the real essence of humanity. It's our imperfections that make us unique, that define us. Aiming for perfection might cause dissatisfaction and self-doubt, impeding your growth. Instead, learn to appreciate your imperfections. They're what make you you. They provide the opportunities to learn, grow, and improve. Similarly, failure isn't something to be feared or avoided. Instead, it should be considered as a learning experience. Each failure teaches vital lessons that can be applied in the future to help achieve success. It's through the process of experiencing setbacks, learning, and iterating that real, lasting transformation occurs. Chapter 14. Developing a Resilient Mindset How can you build a resilient mindset, you might wonder? This mental strength isn't something you're born with, but a skill that you can cultivate, much like physical strength. It starts with recognizing that resilience is the ability to recover swiftly from problems and overcome adversity. First, you've got to acknowledge your emotions, not suppress them. It's okay to feel upset, anxious, or disappointed. These feelings are part of being human, but don't let them control you. Instead, use them as signals to understand what's going on inside your mind. Next, practice optimism. This doesn't mean ignoring reality, but focusing on the positive aspects of a situation. Believe in your ability to overcome challenges. Studies show that optimistic individuals are more resilient because they view difficulties as temporary setbacks, not permanent obstacles. Third, cultivate a growth mindset. Consider failure an opportunity to learn and progress. Instead of seeing problems as threats, consider them opportunities to improve. This mindset modification can significantly improve your resilience. Chapter 15. The Importance of Self-Care Taking care of yourself isn't a luxury. It's an essential part of maintaining both physical health and mental resilience. In our fast-paced world, you're often told to push yourself to the limit, to sacrifice sleep, leisure, and even health for success. But this mentality, while seemingly productive, can actually undermine your ability to perform at your best. Think of self-care as the foundation of your mental house. Without a firm base, you're vulnerable to the winds of stress and adversity. Self-care acts as the cement that holds your mental well-being together, making you more resilient, focused, and effective in facing life's challenges. It's important to understand that self-care isn't about indulging in excess or escaping reality. It's about nourishing your body, mind, and spirit in ways that make you stronger. This could mean taking short breaks throughout your workday, maintaining a balanced diet, exercising regularly, or spending time with loved ones. You have the opportunity to improve your mental health by practicing mindfulness, seeking treatment, or participating in activities that you enjoy. When you take care of yourself, you're not being selfish, you're investing in your ability to show up as your best self in every area of your life. So, don't wait until you're in crisis to start practicing self-care. Incorporate it into your daily routine and see how your mental resilience, focus, and overall well-being improve. 
Chapter 16 Navigating Through Uncertainty As you journey through life, uncertainty is a constant companion, yet it's your ability to navigate these murky waters that can define your success and resilience. You're not alone in these moments of doubt. In fact, it's a pivotal part of the human experience. But how you respond to uncertainty, more than the uncertainty itself, is what shapes your path. First, it's essential to accept that uncertainty exists. It's not something you can eliminate, but rather a reality you must learn to coexist with. Acceptance doesn't mean resignation. Instead, it's about understanding the fluid nature of life. You're not always going to have all the answers, but that's okay. Next, focus on what you can control. In situations fraught with uncertainty, it's easy to feel overwhelmed. But by narrowing your focus to what's within your power, you can regain a sense of control. This could be as simple as maintaining your daily routines or setting achievable goals. Chapter 17. Unlocking Your Creative Potential Traveling through uncertainty can open the doors to your untapped creative potential, paving the way for growth and transformation. Embracing unknowns often leads to the discovery of hidden talents and abilities. It's a catalyst for creativity, pushing you to think outside the box and seek novel ways to solve problems. Unleashing your creative potential isn't merely about being artistic or innovative. It's about breaking free from the shackles of conventional thinking, allowing your mind to wander into uncharted territories. It's about developing a mindset that's open to new ideas, perspectives, and possibilities. Consider this creativity is like a muscle. The more you use it, the stronger it becomes. So it's essential to cultivate it regularly. You can do this by challenging yourself with unique projects, engaging in activities that stimulate your mind, and embracing opportunities that push you beyond your comfort zone. Yet, it's equally important to give your mind the freedom to rest, reflect, and recharge. This downtime often sparks the most profound creative insights. Remember, creativity thrives in an environment that balances stimulation and relaxation. Chapter 18. Building Meaningful Relationships In the domain of hidden knowledge, establishing meaningful relationships is an essential tool that can reveal new perspectives and enrich your life journey. Beyond the superficial social connections, Genuine relationships offer a platform for sharing, learning, and growing. These relationships aren't just about having companionship, but about mutual respect, understanding, and the exchange of ideas that stimulate your mental transformation. To build such relationships, you must start by understanding yourself. This self-understanding is the foundation that guides your interactions with others, helping you to identify those who align with your values and aspirations, it's also vital to being open and genuine, as authenticity attracts like-minded individuals who can contribute positively to your life. However, remember that building meaningful relationships isn't a one-way street. It involves a reciprocal exchange of care, support, and understanding. You've got to invest time and energy into nurturing these relationships, showing interest in others, and providing support when they need it. In your search for mental development, these interactions act as a mirror, reflecting both your strengths and opportunities for progress. They challenge your thinking, push your boundaries, and nurture your growth. They provide the support needed to weather life's storms and the encouragement to pursue your dreams and ambitions. While building meaningful relationships may take effort and patience, the benefits are immeasurable. They expand your life experiences, offer new insights, and improve your mental and emotional well-being. Ultimately, they play a pivotal role in your journey of mental transformation and understanding the secrets of hidden knowledge. Chapter 19. The Art of Effective Communication. Mastering the art of efficient communication will tremendously benefit your trip into the world of hidden knowledge. It is not only about communicating data, it is also about comprehending the emotions and motivations that drive it. It's the key to persuading, influencing, and connecting with others, 
essential for your mental transformation. Effective communication is a two-way street. It's not just about talking, it's about listening too. You've got to be an active listener. This means not just hearing the words, but understanding the complete message being sent. By focusing fully on the speaker, avoiding interrupting and responding appropriately, you're not just respecting the speaker, but also absorbing the knowledge they're imparting. Remember, your nonverbal cues also play a significant role. Your body language, eye contact, hand gestures, tone and pitch of your voice all send strong messages. They can be more revealing than the words you're saying. So be aware of your nonverbal signals to make sure they align with your words. Lastly, simplicity and clarity are essential. You must avoid jargon and complex language. Your message should be clear and straightforward, with no ambiguity. Precise, clear language increases the likelihood that your ideas will be understood and absorbed. Improving your communication skills is a gradual process, but with practice, you will be able to communicate effectively. It's a vital step in opening up the hidden knowledge and achieving effortless mental transformation. So, embrace the art of effective communication and let it pave your way to a transformed life. Chapter 20. Creating a Personalized Roadmap Often you'll find that forging your personalized roadmap to hidden knowledge is a transformative and empowering process. It's akin to exploring a labyrinth of wisdom, where every turn holds a revelation. Every step leads you closer to self-discovery. The first key to creating this roadmap is understanding your current mental state. Are you open to change? Do you embrace learning with curiosity? You must be willing to question your preconceived notions and step outside your comfort zone. It's not only about absorbing new information, but also about reevaluating what you already know. Secondly, identify which aspects of hidden knowledge intrigue you most. This isn't a one-size-fits-all journey. You might be drawn to the mysteries of the subconscious, the power of positivity, or the keys to effective communication. Follow your interests, they're your compass in this exploration. Thirdly, recognize that this journey isn't linear. It's a dynamic process that ebbs and flows. You'll stumble upon concepts that challenge you, ideas that perplex you. Embrace these moments, they're part of your growth. Chapter 21 Setting Intentions and Goals As you begin this journey of discovery, Setting clear intentions and well-defined goals can truly act as your guiding light, providing focus and direction in the vast ocean of hidden knowledge. This process isn't merely about jotting down a list of desires, it's about aligning your thoughts, actions, and energy with your true purpose. It's about creating a vision that excites you, challenges you, and is centered around your unique passions and values. To set effective intentions, you must first understand your deepest desires. It's about asking yourself what truly matters to you, what you genuinely want to achieve. It's not about societal expectations or superficial desires. The more authentically you can identify your intentions, the more powerful they'll be. Once your intentions are set, the next step is to formulate your goals. Remember, goals are concrete, Measurable steps that will take you towards fulfilling your intentions. They should be smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. This will guarantee that your goals are clear, realistic, and consistent with your overall intentions. Furthermore, it's important to remain flexible and open to change as you progress. Life isn't static, and neither are our desires and goals. It's okay to modify or even completely overhaul your intentions and goals as your perspective changes and you gain more insight into yourself. Chapter 22. Building a Supportive Environment Now that you've set your intentions and goals, creating a supportive environment around you is an important next step to take. This environment isn't just your physical surroundings but also includes the people and the mindset you cultivate within yourself. Consider the people in your life, are they uplifting you or dragging you down? Surrounding yourself with positive, 
like-minded individuals can have a significant effect on your journey to mental transformation. These people can inspire, challenge, and encourage you to stay committed to your goals, even during hard times. They're not just cheerleaders, but also coaches who help you navigate obstacles and keep you on track. Do not be scared to separate oneself from harmful influences. Your mental well-being is essential, and it's okay to prioritize it. As for your physical environment, it's important to create a space conducive to your growth. This could be a quiet corner for meditation, a clutter-free workspace, or simply an environment that promotes peace and productivity. Your surroundings can greatly influence your mindset. A serene and organized space can help cultivate a calm and focused mind. Lastly, remember to foster a supportive mindset. This involves maintaining a positive attitude, cultivating resilience, and practicing self-compassion. Be your own cheerleader and celebrate every step you take towards your goals. No matter how small the progress, it's still progress. Building a friendly workplace is a continual activity that is well worth the effort. It's an integral part of your mental transformation and a secret to achieving your goals effortlessly. Chapter 23 Practicing Gratitude and Abundance Embracing gratitude and cultivating a mindset of abundance can dramatically shift your perspective and open up new possibilities in your life. It's more than simple positive thinking, it's a profound appreciation for the things you have and recognizing the abundance already present in your life. Gratitude is a powerful tool for transformation. It's the act of acknowledging the good in your life, and when you do so, you'll find that there's always more good to be found. This doesn't mean ignoring hardships or challenges. Rather, it means focusing on the positives without denying the negatives. You'll find that your outlook becomes brighter and you're more resilient in the face of adversity. Cultivating a mindset of abundance, on the other hand, is about believing that there's enough for everyone. It's about letting go of scarcity thinking, which can limit your potential and keep you stuck in a cycle of lack. When you realize that there's plenty to go around, you'll start to see opportunities where you once saw obstacles. You can start practicing gratitude and abundance today. Keep a gratitude journal, listing the things you're thankful for each day. Surround yourself with positive influences that foster an abundant mindset. And most importantly, believe in your worth and potential. Chapter 24 Embracing Your Authentic Self in a world riddled with expectations and societal pressures, discovering and embracing your authentic self can be a transformative journey. The quest for authenticity isn't a quest for essential perfection, but rather a pursuit of wholeness, endeavoring to live congruously with your values, beliefs, and needs. You might ask, how do you find this authentic self? It's about introspection and self-awareness. You have to dig deep, peeling back the layers of societal conditioning and expectations. It's about uncovering your core values, your passions, and what truly makes you happy. This isn't a one-time activity, but rather a continuous process that evolves as you grow and mature. Embracing your authentic self also involves accepting your vulnerabilities and imperfections. This is often the most challenging part, but it's essential for your mental transformation it's easy to fall into the trap of comparing yourself to others. However, this comparison is often misguided and can lead to feelings of inadequacy. Instead, focus on your journey and appreciate your unique qualities. Chapter 25 Living a Life of Purpose To live a life of purpose, you must first define your life mission. Understanding your true calling isn't always easy, but it's the key to pursuing meaningful goals. This journey requires introspection, exploration, and a commitment to aligning your actions with your core values. Defining your life mission is, without question, a powerful step towards living a purposeful life. It's about understanding what you want to achieve, the legacy you'd like to leave behind, and the kind of impact you want to make on the world. This isn't about setting up a to-do list or creating a bucket list, it's deeper, more profound. 
Your life mission is the fundamental reason you get out of bed each morning. It's your driving force, your why. It's the compass that guides your decisions and actions, illuminating your path when things get cloudy. To define your life mission, you need to reflect on your core values, your passions, and your strengths. Ask yourself, what are my natural talents? What activities give me joy and fulfillment? What values do I hold dear? What kind of difference do I want to make in this world? Drawing from your defined life mission, finding your true calling becomes a journey of aligning your passions, strengths, and values with the work that will bring you not just success, but also fulfillment and purpose. It's not merely about reaching a destination, it's about the voyage of self-discovery and growth. To find your true calling, start by examining your passions. What activities make you lose track of time? Which topics light a fire within you? Your passions are indicators of your calling. Next, identify your innate strengths. These are the skills and talents that come naturally to you, making the work enjoyable and effortless. Your values, the principles you live by, should dovetail with your calling. If they aren't congruent, you'll feel a sense of discontentment, like a cog that doesn't fit in its machine. Lastly, keep in consideration your calling should fulfill you. It's about more than financial success. It's about feeling that you're making a positive difference, that you're using your life to contribute to something bigger than yourself. In essence, your true calling lies in the intersection of your passions, strengths, values, and fulfillment. Discover it, and you open the door to a life of purpose. Now that you've uncovered your true calling, it's time to frame and chase goals that align with this purpose, enhancing your life with profound meaning and direction. Your life's purpose isn't just a one-time realization, but a compass that constantly guides you. When you align your goals with this compass, you're not just ticking off a checklist, but engaging in pursuits that fulfill you deeply. It's essential to understand that these goals don't have to be grandiose. They can be simple yet powerful, like improving personal relationships, learning a new skill, or contributing to your community. What's vital is their resonance with your inner self, their ability to nourish your soul. They should spark joy, foster growth, and inspire you to push your boundaries. So you've journeyed through thought power, mindfulness, self-growth, and authentic living. Now, armed with your newfound wisdom, you're ready to embrace life's journey, unburdened by limiting beliefs. Remember, it's your mind that shapes reality. Keep nurturing positivity, setting clear goals, and treasuring your supportive relationships. You're on the path to effortless mental transformation. Revel in the rhythm of your growth and bask in the melody of your success. You've got this power. Thanks for listening to or reading this from Audiobooks Office.